an interview here tonight with, uh, I was expecting one member of the band Wicked, and I got all four members. How's it going, guys? What's going on, Randy? What's up, Randy? How you doing, buddy? Good to be here. Uh, I'm just here chilling. <laughs> um, so you guys have got uh, local roots here. Um, Utica, I think, is what I uh, picked up. A couple of us were originally, uh, you know, born uh, seedlings of Utica, if you will, um, and uh, and, a, and one uh, outcast from Oneida. But uh, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but yeah, we know we we moved our roots out here. Uh, um, Rochester's been kind of home home to us for the last seven years. So okay, yeah, because somebody had thrown out the um, thrown out Geneva, but as I'm like researching you a little bit. Utica yes. was what popped up. Our lead guitarist. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. So, um, I mean, we'll, we'll get down to business here. Um, you guys, uh, you got a new album coming out. Yes, sir. Uh, named Sunburn. Uh, where where did you record it? That's right. Yeah, we um we actually recorded it um in our house. Uh, so it, you you laughed and you said that you thought you were only getting one of us. The four of us guys live together. Um, oh, okay. We've been living together for seven years, like an old school rock and roll band. Oh, yeah, uh, like Motley Crue style. Yeah, yeah. And um, and uh, during COVID, when uh, all that went down, you know, as as you know, very hard to like get out and do shows, and the industry was really run amok. So we were glass half full kind of guys, right? So we were like, let's spend our time recording and you know writing. Um, and as we were laying down our, our first release, The Last American Rock Band, um, we we built a studio in our house with our producer, Nacho Molino, and we continued to record. And we were, and that's when Sunburn came about. Very cool. And about how long was the process? Oh, that's the best part. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'd say it was about what? Like, uh there's the whole uh, summer about yeah about spring and summer of three months or something like that three months we yeah. we moved uh we moved our buddy and and our and our you know very uh well-renowned producer with 10 grammys into our house for three months with his family during oh, COVID. Cool. um and we just we just you know we set up workshop um it was a lot of fun it it's great when you get you know to do stuff with people that you love to spend time with and that's what this band is all about our crew and our uh, our team is a small little circle, including our producer there. And um, and we just have a blast, like working really hard and having a lot of fun. Yeah. And Randy, you know, what's really cool about the whole recording process of Sunburn was because we did it in our household, in our home studio. We got to take our time and like really focus on all the details and, and make sure we were comfortable. Like for me as a singer, this is Chad Michael speaking. Um, I was able to go into the studio feeling very comfortable being in my own house, you know? So, you know, taking the time that I need to kind of prepare and work with Nacho through certain um, aspects of the song and then go into the studio and just bang everything out. It just made everything so comfortable and fun, you know? Right. I, it too. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually get, glad uh, you identified yourself because that should have been one of the first things. I, well, let, let's run down the... And identify yourselves and what you do in the band. That should have been one of my first things. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, what's up? I'm Danny. I play bass in the band, and uh, I'm the band dad. <laughs> I'm Chad Michael, the lead singer, rhythm guitarist, and I got lead singer syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> Therapy session. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey, baby. Uh, Scotty V, lead guitar, and I'll let them tell you my problems. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm Gunner. I play drums, and I'm perfect. <laughs> right up. Hey, somebody's got to be right. <laughs> if anybody in the band's gonna be perfect, I'd rather it be the drummer because you're the one laying down the foundation. Well, you're one of one of a million then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just a fellow drummer, man. <laughs> fellow background in percussion. I'll leave it at that. I haven't actually played in years. Uh, that's funny. Uh, Neither have I. <laughs> so um what would you what would you guys consider um like standout tracks from the album that you're you're looking the most forward to to get your responses on you know like uh, for me uh chad michael here like um obviously the singles are are, are standouts to, to us they were the newest that we wrote um they were the latest ones that we wrote before we started recording the album um one being sunburn um being such a a, a deliberate difference in how we were writing music. Um, 
Uh, secondly, being gorgeous, being such a um, power pop, like almost like type of song that like you would hear in the late 70s, a little progressive. 70s, yeah. little progressive um, a difference in like the arrangement of the song. Those two really stuck out to me. Um, I'll let the other guy speak too. Uh, yeah, obviously we picked the singles for a reason, but some of the sleepers on there that aren't singles, I'm really excited for people to hear, like uh, um, Outlaw. Yeah, but the same here. That it's just, it's got enough heavy and pop and all everything in between in it. And uh, I think it's one of my favorite solos. I love the modulation in there, yeah. too. Yeah, the solo riffs. It's one of my favorite solos on Definitely the record. My favorite this is, solo. By the way, this is Scotty V speaking. And for me, Gunner, I like uh, Get Away With Enough. That one's probably going to be, that's my favorite song to play, personally. I'm yeah, probably most too. progressive. Good deal. Yeah. yeah. So um, you've got videos for Gorgeous, I think, which, which is the that, – that's the most recent video, right? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I think uh, – what was it? Lost in the Dark was possibly the first single? Yes, yeah, that's correct. correct. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I, God, I, I, I'm, I'm batty a thousand here tonight. So, <laughs> awesome. Pop quiz. so um, we, what, what were some highlights of the video uh, shoots I mean, as far as the whole process? Where, where where were they filmed? Uh... Yeah, I mean, w- one thing is we, we have the honor of working with a great film crew, our friends uh, from Longwood Media out of Boston. And um, these guys are from the DR. Uh, fabulous, fabulous, um, you know, salt of the earth kind of guys. Yeah, too. but uh, the film um, work is just really good. We started off in um, our place that we consider our second home, Salem, Massachusetts, um doing lost in the dark and that was a really fun video because we got to bring a bunch of our friends from new england together to be a part of that including our good friend david newman who owns uh hermetic arts like um magic occult shop in salem um and he was one of the actors um in there so that was a lot of fun um i I really enjoyed that one and then from there we, we we really went crazy and we took like a 38 hour trip from straight from Rochester to Huntington Beach. We drove to do the rest of the videos, right, guys? Yep. Um, Sunburn was the uh, the next video that we did out in um, Yucca Valley, Joshua Tree there, um, just like strand of the desert type of thing. And um, that was such a great time. We hunkered down in this like almost like this cool complex that had everything from these like electric golf carts to a lagoon to horseshoe and and bowling oh, alleys yeah. outside it was just absolutely so much fun to shoot there drinking like 24 7 pretty much and just having like a huge party out in the desert and uh gorgeous the gorgeous video was awesome too we got to hang out in jamie nelson's 1968 pink house and it's like a with, barbie dream house yeah really. barbie oh, dream. cool yeah it, like everybody's like done stuff there i, I feel like uh yeah we were laughing like as as we were Katie Perry was there like the week before yeah, think, as we were like sitting that. on this video like we're watching on social media like uh machine gun kelly katie perry like all of these people kim like was there. yeah kim, kim k Kardashian, like yeah. Do, doing videos and like photo shoots there and releasing it we're like oh are you kidding me like we got to get our video out <laughs> <laughs> i think i think we made it look the best though yeah <laughs> Good deal. So uh, you got some shows coming up. Uh, and there's one that's I, I'm, I'm kind of questioning um, if it's still on. Uh, but you do have March 2nd. You're playing Water Street uh, based on what I've. Yep, that's okay. um, March 2nd is our album, album release, release show. show. Yep. yep. Good deal. Thanks. We're, we're looking forward to that one. That's going to kind of kick off the tour um, before we set out with Raven. And that's like, that's our own show. It's going to be the show that we debut the new Sunburn album front to back um, with, you know, on the big Water Street stage. It's going to be. It, it is an impressive stage. Yeah, it's going to be a one of a kind show. You know, the production and the stage props and all the antics we're bringing in on that one is going to be, like I said, one of a kind. So good deal. Definitely uh, should get out and check it out. If you're in the area. Um, now you mentioned the Raven tour. I think there, there's a show coming up at the bug jar. I believe on that. Is it not? That's yeah. right. Yep. Um, um, our April 21st, April 21st. Okay. Gonna, oh, for some reason I was thinking it was May, but nope, that's closer than I thought. Good deal. 
So that, that is the show I'm most likely to show up at. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I do we're like Mr. Raven. So um, you mentioned uh, we're, we're tour plans. You're going to be out on the road with Raven. About how long is that going to be? We've got we've got somewhere around like 20 to 20 something dates with, with Raven. Um, we start out um, end of March in New Orleans and we work our way counterclockwise around North America into Canada um, and then end, end the whole tour running down the East Coast to the tip of Florida. Um, so we're we're super excited. I mean, it's it's been a hot minute, you know, since we've been um, out there, you know, interacting in our rock and roll community with um, some of our fans. And, you know, of course, coming out of COVID, um, we've got this hot new album. Um, we've got a whole bunch of cool apparel that we're bringing with us and a crazy cool rock show, um, a company with some of our best friends, you know, with the Raven camp. So you want to talk about high energy rock and roll, um, no two greater bands to go and see live uh, at a live show. Now, I, I've never actually seen Raven, so I'm actually pretty pumped for that show. I'm hoping I can make it. They're great, great dudes, but they are absolute lunatics on stage. <laughs> we love those guys. Yeah, I, I, I've oh yeah, I, I've I've been aware of them for like forty years, but I've just never seen them. And I, I have uh, I've actually interviewed John. What was it two, three years ago? That's he, awesome. he was like super cool. Yeah, yeah. next time awesome. you interview John, ask him about the picture of him holding Gunner when he was Gunner was just a little baby. <laughs> blow it up and we're going to bring it on tour with us. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. So, um, that, that pretty much covers everything I had. Is there anything else you guys would like to add tonight? Anything else coming up you'd like to promote? You know what? We'd like to, really like to um, encourage all the, the people in Rochester or the surrounding areas, come out to March 2nd, the Elm release show at Water Street Music Hall. Um, it's going to be a really great show, just kicking off the tour um, and, you know, make sure you visit all the socials and, and our website. So all the socials are at Wicked Rock and Roll, and the website's WickedRockEnrollOfficial.com. Grab your tickets, find a city that you're close to on this tour with Raven, and, uh, and come out. Uh, take pictures with us, you know, hang out with us after the show and, um, you know, ask us questions. We, we really like to, to build this community of rock and rollers, um, and, and we'd love to meet you all. And don't forget, the Sunburn album is up for pre-sale right now um, on all streaming and digital services. And on our website, we have pre-orders up for the physical CD and vinyl. Remember those things? Ours it, is uh, you got to check it out. You're going to love it. And we got tons of new apparel that goes with the new album. Um, so visit our website. Then uh, that is? WickedRockAndRollOfficial.com. Okay, good deal. All right, guys. Well, thanks for taking your time to talk with me tonight. I'll get this up as soon as humanly possible, and I'll uh, make sure I post it straight to your Facebook page. Awesome. Uh -huh. Thank, Thank you, Randy. Thank you really so much. No brother. Anytime, man. Hey, take care. All right. You too. Good deal.